We went over the drop zone. Everything went perfect. I come out of the plane, and I think my feet were facing the plane when my straps pulled, and it snapped my C2 uh, and two on the inside of my neck. Three of my vertebrae uh, in the lower part of my neck had collapsed and shifted, and they were cutting my spinal cord off. You could tell he felt like there were no answers. You could tell he felt like there was no relief. And for all of us, you know, being powerless and not being able to help in any way, just stand back and watch what was going on, it's heartbreaking. Jeff had cervical myelopathy, which is a big fancy doctor word for dysfunction of the spinal cord. We did a surgery, uh, posterior cervical laminectomy infusion, essentially where we took the pressure off of the spinal cord and stabilized the spine with little tiny screws and rods, um, and allowed the spinal cord more room to breathe. And um, in his case, it resulted in dramatic improvement in his function really right away. I woke up, I could walk. I woke up and I wasn't in pain. When I come out, she's like, Dad, you know you gotta walk me down the aisle, right? And at that time, I wouldn't have been able to walk her. Initially, you don't really know how much improvement someone's gonna get, um, but he really did really well. The second time I saw him, he was already walking without a walker. He was a little unsteady, but he was walking without a walker, and that's kind of when the wheels started turning. You know, maybe I can walk her down the aisle. Do you think that'll be possible? It, it was a miracle. Four months before that, there's no way I would have even thought about even going to the wedding. I mean, I was in that bad shape. Taking somebody who, I mean, is quite literally confined to a wheelchair and, um, you know, through a team approach and, and, and a surgery, you know, giving them the ability to walk again, I mean, you know, there's not, it, it doesn't get much better than that. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever witnessed in my life. It really was. He's like Jeff used to be, and that's, that's a big deal to us. I mean, I was at the point of, I knew I wasn't gonna make it. And without Vanderbilt, I wouldn't have made it, I don't think. I owe my life to Vanderbilt.